their place, but they'll say they're mad. Yeah. They're going to stay in their place, but they're mad with everybody else. Yes. Some folks ain't going to never leave Potter's house, but they're going to run everybody else off. Yeah. Some folks will never leave State Tabernacle. They're going to make sure everybody else gets to go. Because yeah. yeah. the Bible says always abounding in the work of the Lord. Oh, you do, you do. The problem is we think it's our work. We think this is our stuff. This is our business. This is God's church. It's God's church. It's not your church. This is God's church. And the last time I checked, the Bible said that the gates of hell was not prevail against it. Assignment. Your assignment is canceled. His assignment is to discourage you. His assignment is to make you give up. His assignment, amen, to make you feel like you're not making a difference. But we cancel the assignment of the devil. So I'm going to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. Always abounding. Always reaching. Always looking. Always figuring out. Amen. How can we get the job done? How can we make God pleased with us? Always about it. Always got a way. Look, God's got a plan. Don't you worry about it. Amen. Some folks figure if I don't show up, ain't nothing going to happen. And then they stay home. I got another saying. Amen. If I don't do it, amen. It don't get done. And then I'll make sure it gets done. Make sure you're there. Make sure you're in your place. Make sure you can be counted on. Make sure you can be dependent on. Yes, sir. Somebody asked you, amen, you got somebody in your church that can do this job? Amen, you know they're capable of doing it, but they can never be on time. We know they can do the job, but amen, they'll half do it. They'll slap it up. Amen, let you know they didn't want to do it. Oh, yes, pastor, I'll do it. And do such a sloppy job is to let you know I didn't want to do it. I just ain't gonna tell you. I just I'm gonna make it so sloppy so you'll never ask me again. Next time you go to ask me, you'll look the other way. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Always abounding. Whatever your assignment is, amen. Some of us can't stand an assignment. We want our assignment to come from God. The pastor asks you, the pastor asks you to do something. Well, I gotta check it out. You ever see people they gotta go on a three-day fast because you are <laughs> I need somebody to roll the garbage cans out on Tuesday night. I, I gotta go on a three-day fast to see if God wanted to do that because. Because I gotta be anointed to do it. See? Always abounding in the work of the Lord. And that's both natural. If you don't understand natural, there's no use to be talking to you about spiritual. Amen. We want to be wonders. And some people are wonders. I wonder what's wrong with them. I wonder where they come from. I wonder where they get that from. I wonder what they're doing here. I wonder why don't they go? We want to be a wonder. And I want you to know you succeeded. You make us wonder. You make us wonder. I wonder what kind of spirit is that. I wonder what kind of Holy Ghost is that. I wonder what kind of love is that. My wife and I were watching uh, one of those talk shows, amen, and the man would just treat the woman any kind of way. He said, but I love you, baby. I looked at her and said, love don't act like that. Love don't act like that. It don't act like that. I wonder where is your love. I wonder. We say we love God. Yeah. We turn flips and we speak in tongue and we yeah. run all over the church yeah. laying hands on everybody. We need to lay hands on ourselves. Cast the devil out of yourself. Yeah. I don't mind you praying for me. I don't mind you praying for me. I don't. I don't mind you praying for me. But I want you to cast the devil out of you first before you put your hands on me. Because what's in you might come out of you again in me. I wonder what's wrong with me. I don't feel right. I'm not acting right. I Find out somebody been laying their hands on you ain't cast the devil out of the 
Uncle Sam. My God, my God. But the Bible says to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. Now listen, some people got hidden agendas. I'm not talking about that. Some people got an ulterior motives. That's right. yeah. They'll show up as long as you call their name. That's right. They'll show up as long as their name is on the program. That's right. They'll do what you say as long as their name is in lights. That's right. That's right. And everybody know who's in charge. That's right. yeah. Then they're going to be faithful. They're going to do it. Amen. Yeah. As soon as you forget their name. Hmm. Oh. Why ain't you supposed to move My name ain't on the program. I don't know who they got to do it. When our late superintendent was, amen, alive, and, and, and I was in charge of the men's day, amen, and, and I would call the men together and say, we're going to do this, and I need somebody. I wouldn't just point nobody and say, okay, we need somebody to do this. We need somebody to do that. We need somebody to do the praise and worship. We need somebody to have testimony service. We need somebody to pray. We need somebody to read the scripture. And nobody said nothing. Uh -huh. Men's day come in. I don't know what Ella Russell doing. I don't know. <laughs> like we never talk. Like we never told. Like I never asked for help. <laughs> and it'll make you wonder sometimes. <laughs> it feels like I'm not making a difference. It feels like it feels like even as a pastor sometimes, it feels like you're not getting through. Oh, Jesus. Feels like you're not getting through. Yeah, amen. You preach. And I remember our late pastor told us, Amen, about men wearing these earrings. And don't try wearing these earrings. Look like the next. I saw three, four people that ain't never had an earring in their ear. I said, I still come up with no <laughs> Just a rebellious spirit. And that's a, re a rebellious spirit that's saturating our churches. And God is not pleased with it. God is not pleased with it. But he says we ought to be abounding. And so you can't pack your bags and give up. Because well, it ain't listening to me. I might as well go on home. Get my Bible, get my wife, and we go home. I'll see you Tuesday night. We'll be back for Bible band. Amen. The old saints told us I made a vow to the Lord and I won't take it back. I won't take it back. It's not that I can't. I just won't take it back. But God placed me here. It'd be different if you placed me, okay? But God put me here. He's the one. He's the one. He's the one, He's the one that's going to make the difference. He's the one that's going to be pleased with us what we do. Amen. So he tells us to be abounding always, always, always. Not sometimes. Not hit and miss. Not when I feel like it. Not if I don't feel like it, I ain't going to do it. Used to be the time when people came to the altar and wanted to be saved. The saints would just get, they didn't, you know what? There were times, I know there were times when people came to the altar, they were not interested in being saved. They just wanted prayer. The saints would get up and say, say, save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. No, no, you don't understand. I didn't want to be. No, save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. See, I want to be saved. Oh God, you almost got the bad preachers and missionaries. Come, we gotta come work with these people. They, they want to be saved. They want to be delivered. Amen. And they need somebody to support them. How are you going? <laughs> You. Yeah, pastor calling you. He wants you to put out here. Ain't you got license to what? What, what we license you for? <laughs> Sit around and look like big shots. Sit around and say, I'm here. <laughs> and it ties the work out to be done. <laughs> I'm working on my ministry. That's not what God called me to do. <laughs> they call us to work now. We working on our ministry. But the Bible says always a pounding in the work of the Lord. When we get so business mixed up with other thing else, say anything else, amen, we are going out of business. Yeah. This is supposed to be our business. Yeah. So business. Yeah. So business. And yet we're so disinterested. That's not what I came for. 
Not what I came for. Bible study time. Can't find you nowhere. Had folks told me I don't have to come to church on Tuesday. I don't have to come on Sunday or on Friday. And now they, they, they text me and said, Pastor, I got a word for the church. Oh, I got some notes. They sent me a note. Pastor, if you need somebody, I got a word. I told one, I don't believe you. What you mean? I said, well, where were you in your word on Tuesday night? Where were you in the word on Friday night? All of a sudden, on Sunday morning, you got a word for the church. I said, I don't believe you. I told me, I'm not a boy. I'm not a boy. I don't have to prove myself to you. I said, you sure don't know? You got to prove yourself to me. But see how many times I put you up. You ain't got nothing to say. You, you need to hear. You, you need to hear what the Lord say. Right. I had a preacher get up and, 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 and elevated the service, exalt the people, and got the people dancing and shouting. I get up and preach and walk straight out the front door. 